Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Hey everybody, David aka RV Jedi, and I just want to share with you about something that happened to me uh, yesterday. So uh, here uh, where I was staying, and this is a Hartman Creek um, campground, um, everything seemed to be going well. Uh, it was cold, and I don't know how my RV is adjusting to all of the cold, but one of the things that happened uh, yesterday, um, and this is about late morning, early afternoon, my uh, propane alarm started to go off. And uh, I wasn't sure what was going on because I didn't have any propane on. Um, you know, I had cooked earlier in the day, uh, and everything seemed to be okay, uh, but the alarm kept going on. Uh, the LP alarm is going off, um, but periodically. So it'll go off for a little bit. Um, I hit the test alarm, it goes down. Uh, I've looked at my manual trying to figure out what's going on. We'll see how this holds up for a little bit. Um, right now it's green. If it continues to go on, then I'll turn off the uh, gas. Right now I have everything kind of open. Uh, even though it's extremely cold, uh, but want to make sure that there are no fumes coming in here that could be dangerous for me. So I'll, I'll continue to monitor this, um, even though it is a rainy day. Um, uh, this may be some maintenance that I have to do while I'm here. Again, not sure if this is just a product of, uh, you know, RVing in the winter, because this is something that I've never really done before. It's about 37 degrees here. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. So um, I hit the reset, uh, you know, and uh, everything seemed to be going on fine for a while. Um, and then the alarm happened again. So um, both times I opened up all of the windows and continue to open up the windows, uh, press the alarm, uh, and that seemed to make it go away or stop again. Then it happened a third time, and, and then I started to get really kind of nervous. Uh, I spent some time uh, going over uh, my owner's manual to make sure uh, something serious wasn't going on, um, and I, I, I double-checked everything. I went on YouTube. I started to look at some videos. I tried to figure out and tried to troubleshoot everything that was going on. So finally, I found a solution uh, in my manual and on YouTube that maybe uh, the fuse uh, to the uh, system was off and uh, broken, and maybe that was causing the problem. So I looked, I checked, I replaced the fuse, uh, and again, it seemed to work for a while. Okay, so looking at some YouTube videos and uh, uh, reading through my manual again, one of the things could be a fuse. Um, so I'm going to check my fuse box, uh, check that and see if there might be a blown fuse, uh, to my sensor, uh, to my alarm. And maybe that's causing some of this. So let's check this out. Okay, so I changed the fuse. Uh, right now, again, uh, the sensor is showing green. There's no alarm. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then I guess the next thing would be to turn off the gas altogether. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this works. Then it happened again. So uh, what I did was, based on everything that I saw, I went outside, I turned off my LP gas um, and just shut it all down. 
Um, and that's how I was going to uh, do it for the rest of the time and just take it back in to have it serviced uh, a little bit later. So I'm still having issues uh, with the LP monitor. Um, changing the fuse didn't seem to work. So I'm gonna go out and uh, shut off the main valve and uh, gonna have to get this checked by someone professionally. But one thing I did notice is, and kind of remembered, was when I was cooking in the morning, I had a problem with one of the burners, and uh, it didn't click over when I was trying to turn it on. The other two worked fine, and I thought, well, maybe could that be an issue? Now, I'm not saying you should do this. I did it, and um, you always want to make sure your LP gas is serviced properly, and I'm still going to do this. Uh, I turned on the gas once again, um, let it sit for a little bit, uh, and then I went on and turned on my stove, uh, and I turned on two of the burners, and then I turned on one of the burners, or tried to turn on one of the burners, and that's where the problem was. When I turned on or tried to turn on the burner, especially the back right one, um, uh, you could feel a little burst of uh, propane or gas there. Uh, nothing too dangerous, uh, but I think that was clogged and that was causing the issue. So uh, I think I troubleshooted it the best I could. I think it's fine for now, uh, but it is something that I really am going to have to have looked at uh, when I get back, uh, and especially as I shut this down. So one of the things I'm going to do when I shut down for the winter, uh, and that's coming up here, is I'll make sure to turn off the propane uh, when I get ready to... Um, go out in the spring, uh, I do an overall check on everything and I'll make sure to double check the propane. Uh, since then, I have not had an issue. Uh, the propane seems to be going well. The um, uh, alarm is not going off. Uh, I do keep a, you know, a couple windows open just, just in case. Uh, but propane is something that you don't want to fool around with. Uh, I think this will get me through the next day or so. And then uh, again, when I get back, put it in storage, I'll shut off the propane uh, and make sure to make an appointment when I uh, dewinterize and get the RV back out uh, to make sure everything is okay. So just a little tip from the road, a little uh, drama, if you will, in terms of what happened with me uh, and my RV uh, this trip. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, RV safe, have fun, because when you can do it, it is absolutely fantastic. We'll see you next time.